hi all today we are going to um, discuss about shallow copy and deep copy um, this is these are other two copy mechanism in sv before going to start this shallow copy and deep copy first we will understand class assignment because this uh, shallow copy and deep copy is uh, done by using the assignment class assignment only so first we will see what is class assignment in the picture you can see that one picture is there here data is a one memory location this is the memory location okay consider one class named cl transaction here we have one class transaction class for that we have two handles tr1 and tr2 assignment means we are assigning a one class handle to the another class by using the operator called assignment operator this equal symbol is assignment operator first we are doing uh, what we are doing in class assignment is first we will create the object for the one handle that is tr1 is equals to new that means we created a one object for the class handle tr1 after that what we are doing is we are doing a assignment tr tr2 is equals to tr1 this means we have assigned a object tr1 to the tr2 tr2 handle points to the tr1 location so in picture you can see that tr1 to tr1 handle and tr2 handle pointing to the same memory location in in transaction class we have a one variable called data so here by assignment it uh, both the handles will pointing to the same memory location that means any changes made by using a one handle will reflect in another handle for example uh, consider uh, you have assigned a one value for the data by using a tr1 handle that is tr1 dot data is equals to 10 okay and if you are printing a tr1 dot data you will get the value as 10 and again you are you are putting a value like tr2 dot data is equals to 15 and you, you are printing the value tr2 dot data so you will get the value as 15 and also if you want to print by using a tr1 handle that is tr1 dot data you will get the 15 only why because both this handle shares the same memory class assignment is nothing but if you assign one class handle to the another class handle both pointing to the same memory location so any changes made by one handle will reflect in another handle so you can assign any value by using any either handle either handle so you will get the same value when you print the uh, values by using a two different handles okay tr1 dot data is equals to tr2 dot data this is the class assignment you will understand in the code clearly so we will go to the code uh, this is what i explained just now this is the class transaction this is a cl transaction class type here we have a data variable which is of 32 bit and in module we are uh, writing on code for this uh, class assignment okay here we are taking a uh, two handles tr1 and tr2 for the clan uh, for the class type transaction and in initial begin we are assigning a we are creating a object for the handle tr1 in initial begin loop only we have to allocate the memory okay tr1 is equals to new we just now we created the object for the handle tr1 and what we are doing is by using this t now we created a memory now that's why by using that handle we are assigning a value 5 to the variable data now data is equals to 5 after that what we are doing is class assignment tr2 is equals to tr1 now what happens both this handle pointing to the same memory location that is data is a memory location this both tr1 and tr2 handle will pointing to the same memory location and now you are printing tr1 dot data and tr2 dot data for tr1 data we will get the value as 5 because here we have assigned tr1 data is equals to 5 what about tr2 dot data here also we will get the same value as 5 why because we have we have done the class assignment so both the handles pointing to the same memory location so any changes made by using one handle will also reflect in the another handle and here tr2 dot data is equals to 10 we assigned a 10 value by using the handle tr2 here we have used, used the 
TR1 handle. Here we are using a TR2 dot handle. So we are assigning a 10 value to the data variable and we are printing the values TR2 dot data. Here we can get the value as 10 and TR1 dot data. Here also we will get the same value as 10. Why? Because because of this class assignment. I will run this code. Yes, these are all the outputs for the first display statements. For this tr1 dot data and tr2 dot data, we are getting the value as phi and phi. For both the, uh, both the display statements, we are getting the same value. Why? Because we are uh, we are assigning the phi value to the data variable by using the tr1 handle and when we are printing the uh, value by using the tr2 dot handle we are getting the value same because of the assignment only tr2 dot tr2 is equals to tr1 that means both the handles pointing to the same memory location that's why any changes made by one handle will reflect in the another handle either it is tr1 or tr2 here also you can see that in a second display statements we are assigning a value 10 by using the handle tr2 we will get the value a a means hexadecimal format of decimal value 10 10 is a here so we are we have got the value as a when we print the tr2 dot data and also for tr1 dot data we got the same value as 10 because this this is because of the class assignment any handle you can use when you when you are performing a class assignment you can use the any handle to update the value so one if you change the value by using a one handle that means it will reflect in the another handle this is of the class assignment now we will discuss shallow copy